May I help you, young man? I'd like to show my friend some books. Of course. Go Come on, Ulysses. Look, these and those over there. And these, all books, Ulysses. I wonder what they say in all these books. All these. I wonder what they say. There's Ulysses. A book. There it is. See? They're saying something in here. There's an A. That's an A right there. There's another letter of some sort. I don't know what that one is. Every letter's different, Ulysses, and every word's different. I don't think I'll ever learn to read. This is a public Library, you listen. Books all over the place. You can't know what a book says, you listen, unless you can read. And I can't read. Ulysses and Lionel and Johnny and Jane can't read. Children are natural learners. While they're very young, they display an intense curiosity about their world. Some authorities say that children begin learning as soon as they're born. They also develop an interest in books. At first, they might be attracted by the pretty color of a book's cover or they're delighted by the pictures inside. Later, they learn that words have meaning. As Lionel puts it, they're saying something in there. Yet all too often during a child's formative years, his desire to learn is stifled. He loses his love for books. Today, one out of every four children has significant reading difficulty. Many others, among them potentially capable students, are not reading as effectively as they might. And more than three million adults are unable to read and write. These are unfortunate statistics, for reading is a necessary tool for living a rich, full life. There are very few jobs that do not require reading skills. Reading is essential for success in school and college. Moreover, reading can provide one of life's greatest pleasures. For both adults and children, reading serves as a gateway to a wider world that cannot be reached in any other way. The teaching of reading is a fundamental responsibility of our school. However, after a child goes to school, where his formal instruction in reading begins, his success often depends on the experiences he has had before he enters school. The persons most responsible for preparing a child for reading are his parents. They are the child's first teachers. If a child feels that the world is safe and interesting, 
Often it is because members of his family have rewarded him by answering his questions and helping him to explore the world around him since birth. In learning to read, a child must have a foundation for reading. Parents begin building this foundation early in a child's life. Some experts say it's not too early to read stories and show pictures to a newborn baby. Sounds and pictures are linked with warmth and care. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a tail. The rhythm of nursery rhymes soothes and delights the youngest infant. If you've forgotten some of the traditional nursery rhymes, a mother goose book will refresh your memory. Who packs his dog with Danica and brown paper? As the child grows older, everyday activities around the house and in the community can provide valuable learning experiences that will promote reading readiness. While cooking, tell your child what you're doing. Help him understand different ways of preparing food. By talking about what you're doing, you're helping him broaden his vocabulary. Numbers can be taught at the same time. Often a pet gives a child something to talk about as he assumes responsibility for its care. Many reading activities can take place around the care of a pet your child loves. Short walks with your child can provide experiences you both can talk about. Later, at home, you can help him list some of the things you saw. By writing down names of objects, he sees the way names look on paper. Your child will also enjoy visiting places in the community. If possible, take a little extra time so that he can see behind the scenes. He will need time to take in the sights, sounds, and smells. Visits to the public library will show him that the library is a lovely place that lends treasures for free. learn that the library also has more than books to lend. While at the library, pick out some books for yourself. If possible, a parent should read with his child daily. Others in the family or neighbors may also read to him. Have a regular time for reading. During reading time, give him your undivided attention. Listen to your child and answer his questions clearly so he'll hear each word. Keep your answers suited to his age. Also, help him discover his own answers to his questions. While reading, you can play games with your child. Ask him to point out objects in the pictures. Ask him to point out different colors. As you play reading games, help your child have fun. Never turn games into drudgery. Before a child learns to read, he must be able to see relationships, see likenesses and differences. A deck of cards may be used for this activity. Also, cards have numbers. Ask your child to find all the sevens or some other number. Parents can also teach the child letter sounds by using pictures. For example, find pictures of objects that begin with M, as in mother. Paste them on a bag. Try this idea with other letters. Printed signs are everywhere, and most children are eager to know what they say. Parents can show the child that printed signs are like getting words to speak. 
you can explain to the child what these words mean. Your child will enjoy discovering that words can be put on paper. When he shows that he's interested in words, ask him to speak a word, then let him watch you print the word. Print labels your child asks for. Tape the labels to the objects they represent. He will soon learn that reading is easy and fun. During your visits to the grocery store, call your child's attention to the different fruits, vegetables, dairy, and bakery products, and signs. When possible, take a little extra time to explain their meaning and answer his questions. Show him he can learn many things in the supermarket. As parents help build a foundation for reading, they should show enthusiasm about the child's reading, just as they did about his talking and walking. Furthermore, if parents read for their own enjoyment, it is likely that the child will be interested in learning to read and will later enjoy reading himself. The example of parents is never so important as during these early years. How well your child succeeds in reading can depend on what you do before he starts to school. You are his first teacher. There are many activities related to reading that parents can use to help their child learn to read. Games such as checkers and chess often help the child develop thinking, reasoning, and judging skills. Skills also needed in reading. One way to teach your child shapes is to let him fix his favorite sandwich. Explain to him that a square has four equal sides, sort of like the edges of a piece of bread. Cut the square on the diagonal so that you have two triangles. Play this game with the things you make and things you see to help the child grasp the differences between shapes. While in the kitchen, let your children make some cookies. Such experiences cause children to ask questions, a skill needed for reading and language development. After a child makes cookies, a parent can help him make up a story by writing it down as the child tells what has been done. Teachers call such written records experience charts. Reading authorities tell us that what children say they can write. What children write they can read. A bulletin board placed in a child's room gives him a place to post his stories, poems, and pictures. Even a piece of cardboard covered with cloth will do. It's not always necessary to spend a lot of money for materials. Inexpensive materials are everywhere. On the other hand, if you spend a small amount of your budget for an inexpensive book or for a reference book while at the supermarket, your child will see that you place some value on reading materials. Always try to keep your child's interests in mind. You may want to place a bird feeder or bird house outside a window or in the yard. Such an activity might interest the child in reading more about birds and their habits. Parents know that their children learn much from television. Help your child select the programs he will watch. You may like to watch a favorite program with your child. Some programs stimulate interest in new things for children to read about. Talk with him about what he has seen. Trips can be used to widen a child's experience. As summer approaches, let your child help plan the family vacation. The library can supply more information about the place you plan to visit. Part of the vacation might be planned around the special interests of your children. Follow up your vacation with talk at home. 
Give plenty of time for discussion about your trips. Your child may like to write a story about some of the places he visits. Later, he could read his story to you. As the child becomes an independent reader and begins to read simple materials on his own, his parents should continue to help him. Let him read the recipe as you cook. The menu at a restaurant. He may also enjoy reading a road map. During this independent period of reading development, parents can help to establish positive attitudes toward books by continuing to read orally to the child. And by giving the child a choice of places from which he may select books. He also should be helped to realize that purchasing his own book is a responsible investment of his money. As with the preschool child and the beginning reader, there are a number of activities that parents may try as they help the independent reader. Some children enjoy collecting and reading maps of all kinds. Maps acquaint children with directions, familiar city names, counties, rivers, and the like. He may also enjoy drawing a map of his neighborhood. Many children like craft kits. While following directions as he works on his project, a child extends his knowledge through reading. Parents should encourage the use of reference materials for further reading about hobbies. All children like to get mail. Parents may encourage their children to write letters to the children's favorite authors. Dear Dr. C, I'm writing to tell you how much I like He may tell the author why he did or did not like the book. He may ask the author a question. There is one question I would like to ask you. What is a who? Please let me know. Your friend, Steve. If your child is interested, read the stock market with him. Choose a specific stock and watch its gains and losses. Some children like to invest a few dollars in a stock, thus stimulating interest in reading the daily newspaper. As you try to help the independent reader, remember that his interests change. Discovering these interests may not be so easy, for they may differ from week to week. To be sure of your child's interests, compare notes with his teacher. Ask your child questions. If you could take a one-day trip, where would you go? If you had three dollars to spend, what would you buy? Name the one thing you would like to do most. Above all, be an interested listener. It's usually the parent who takes the time to observe his child and to listen to his comments and questions who succeeds in helping his child become a more successful learner and reader. Parents who wish to help their children should ask themselves, do I know my child's interests? Do I take time to talk with my child about his reading materials? Do I provide opportunities for my child to select his reading material? Do I set an example by showing my child that I enjoy reading? Do I think of reading as a continuous process? Do I understand that all children are not ready to read at the same time and do not read with the same degree of skill? And am I working with others, librarians and teachers, to provide all kinds of suitable reading materials for my children?
Lionel and Ulysses and Johnny and Jane will probably learn to read in due time. How well they read will depend on the foundation provided by parents, teachers, and librarians who share the great responsibility of helping children learn to read. Look, Ulysses, these and those over there, and these all books, Ulysses. I wonder what they say in all these books, all these. I wonder what they say. This is a public library, Ulysses. Books all over the place. Oh. 